Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and in today's video we're going to be tackling the mammoth task of creating all the books for the library. Um, I'm not actually going to be creating them all in this video but I'm actually going to create uh, six different types of books or ways of actually creating books. Um, and my thought process around that is that um, towards the back of the library those areas are not really going to be able to be uh, accessed very easily so um, getting into that area it really just needs the appearance of books rather than actually individually created books so I'm thinking about how do I go about creating grouped books together and I've created um, just a couple uh, of test pieces so this one here I'll give you a close up and and this one so it's just basically using so it's basically using foam board I've taken the top layer off the foam board so that I can get some um, more indentations with it the surface is pretty rough even though I've actually covered it with Mod Podge um, but we'll go through that um, in a little bit more detail because I'm going to give it a go with just leaving the paper on the top just to see if I can get a better surface out of it I'm not too sure if I'm going to get as much indentation but I'm keen to give it a go and then they're just basically placeholders really they're just um, they're just the fronts they've, they've got nothing in behind them they're just little things that can just you know stand up um, so I'm just I'm going to create quite a few of these like I say just in the back of the library there it you're not going to be able to um, get to them or touch them or actually even be able to remove them so they're really just going to be placeholders and as long as they kind of look like books then um, I'm pretty happy with it and I might try a couple of other ways that to actually do that So the second way is from a lady called Karen and she posted a comment on a Facebook post that I um, put up and her, her way was to create um, the books using scraps of leather. So I've got um, whole lots of scraps of leather that I can use 
um, and then I was just testing out a few different inners and I actually found that using balsa wood which is about three millimeters thick and I've just um, painted the ends with um, a little bit of gold actually gives me um, gives me this sort of look it's quite thick the, the actual books themselves and all I need to do now is actually create some of the sort of gold highlights on them so that I can kind of get a little bit more detail in them but we'll I'll step through that process as well that was pretty easy and it was um, it's a great way of creating individual books um, at volume which is what I need to do right so yeah so that is one way which was really cool So the third idea is from a lady called Christina and she uses the binded edge or the binded spine of magazines. So I'm actually going to use this magazine here. It's a bathroom and laundry, kitchen bathroom and laundry even, um, magazine that I picked up in a trade show or something like that. I think it's, um, it's about 2018 so it's a little bit out of date and actually when I go through to do any of that in my house 
I'll get the latest versions anyway. So, but it's got a really nice square spine on it. So I'm going to try using this as well, just to see if that actually works and just sort of cutting it down. And then it gives me obviously a whole lot of pages in it. So I'm keen to give that one a go. Um, and I've got some covers that I have got printed off and cut out that I thought that might be good to use. Um, and then it will help me help guide me on the size that it needs to be. So the fourth one is um, a lot of people make comments around um, using Etsy, um, which is basically a which you can um, buy some printable, downloadable printable versions of the books and the inners and the covers and they kind of come out sort of something looking sort of very similar to this. You just sort of cut those out, um, which gives you um, and then concertina them all up, which gives you this sort of look. So we're going to go through that as well. Um, and then obviously the, then the end result is um, this little book here. It's got a lot more detail in it. The pages have got some writing in it as well. Uh, and then on the spine, this particular one is an A to Z. So I've got 26 volumes um, to create of this particular one. So I've created one already just to give it a bit of a test version. And it l seems to come out quite well. I've just put a bit of cardboard into the cover. So it's actually nice and strong. Um, so yeah, I will go through that one as well and sort of see how that one comes together.
So the fifth one I'm keen to try is from a gentleman called Donald and he uses a foam board or foam core board and scrapbook paper. So that seems quite um, straightforward. I haven't tried that one yet so I'm keen to give that one a go um, and yeah, just see how that comes together. It feels like that might be another one a bit like the leather one where, we can, where I can actually create quite a few um, all at once which is great. Uh, not necessarily like this particular one which is just really a placeholder but individual books that I can actually take out and hopefully that will look um, the part which will be quite exciting. Um, and then the last one, um, the sixth one, which is uh, I'm really keen to try one of the recommendations from my, from the whole list of comments was to have a look at um, Bentley House Minis, which do which Aira does a live stream on um, creating a couple of books. One is a faux leather book. So I'm really keen to give that one a go as well. So it's using fabric and paint to do the cover. Um, and then actually gluing a whole lot of pages together to get the inner workings of the books.
thank you so much for watching and if you like this video consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. I've also included a couple of other videos in here that I think that you might like and if you have any questions about this video drop them in the comment section below. Otherwise I will see you in the next one.